yes, you beautiful souls, welcome back. It's another installment of the Calendary Hotline Bling. Ching, ching, Oh, no. Clem, what's happening? I came prepared. Oh, I came, no. <laughs> I came prepared. I'm ready for this. I like this. I like this. You got this? I got you as well. You got me you as well? I got All you. Right, let's just, I got, uh, you got you. my headlamp on. Clem, we didn't put badges in this one. No, I did, man. Oh, no. Oh, there we go. Lights are back. <laughs> All right. You figured out what's happening this morning. This morning, we are sharing some load shedding cooking hacks so that you don't get caught in a pickle like Clem and I were in just now. So don't worry, Mzanzi, if you've got any questions for Chef Clem on all things in the kitchen or need any help getting out of the sticky foodie situations, then we got you covered right now, especially if it involves a lack of power, which is what a lot of us are finding ourselves in when it comes to the current situation. I don't know, it's not a pandemic, right? But it's starting to feel like it's had so much uh, impact. Uh, it it's really is. It's causing chaos, and uh, that is why, Mzanzi, we are asking you to come through and assist us this morning and come through on the WhatsApp line. That's 063-408-8863. And if you have any extra kitchen hacks to keep the cooking on while the power is off, then come through right now. But, of course, Chef Clem is here to assist us. And earlier this week, we asked you what your cooking hacks during loading shedding were, and here are some of what you had to say. Let's check this out. All right. So we've got Sandra first up, cooking my meals and putting my pots on a wonder bag. It helps keep the meals hot for long, long, long. One good investment during load shedding. Mmm, I like that. Have you used that before? Absolutely. And I think they're amazing. Yeah. And it's kind of like making me realize how long we've been doing this load shedding thing. Because about almost 10 years ago, Wonder Bags became so popular. Yes, yes. Because of the, the fact that you could start cooking something, pop it in the Wonder Bag, it'll yeah. continue cooking for like hours. I would see it on like camps and stuff because yes. I mean, a lot of the time you don't have power in a camp situation and you can seek inspiration from that. I would see guys just cook the pot up for like a couple of minutes and then they just leave it for the rest of the day. By the evening, it's ready to go. I was like blown away by this, but it's so efficient. Really, really. I love cool. it. I love this tip. So, mm. Geraldine, Leslie, thank you so much for that. We absolutely love that. Uh, we've got another one here. Sorry, it says I have a complete meal using a gas stove. Crazy cooking experience with load shedding. I've been trying this. I think gas mm -hmm. hobs are taking over right now. Taking over. It's really a great hack for anybody that's caught in a situation, but it doesn't help you when it comes to the oven situation, uh -huh. which is quite a tricky one. But I mean, you can still make a plan, right, with the gas. Look, if you want to be baking a cake in the middle of load shading, good for you. But I mean, like, <laughs> if you've got other priorities, we can do it. We can, Looks, we can definitely try. You know how some of us forget that we have those last minute instances? So we might have to. Look, we've got another one here. I see everybody's coming through with some good ideas. Al Albany Dyer says, before the power goes off, I cook everything as early as possible and then transfer the boiling pot to the Wonder Bag. Close it tightly Wonder and then bag. stand for hours in the recipe book. I like this. Very smart. So the Wonder Bag is definitely it is. a kitchen hack Absolutely. when it comes to load shedding, right? Also, good morning, Albany. Albany is one of our biggest, biggest fans. So good morning, Albany. Thank you for that. <laughs> the Wonder Bag is coming through for the win, and I absolutely yeah. love it. And I, if I'm not mistaken, I think it is a South African invention. I hope so, so because that's an ingenuity how, of our how, people. Yeah. Yes, I love it. I've got a few more tips as well. Uh, yeah, because, man, like, uh, this is becoming yeah. a legit problem, and I think we are realizing that we need a proper solution and it maybe is. a holistic solution to not just a quick fix, but what else can we still do in this time of... Reflection, let's call it that. <laughs> exactly. So, the thing about cooking on gas, it's yeah. great for searing and quick cooking things. But when it comes to boiling, boiling things takes a little longer and you, you don't want to be standing in the kitchen doing all of that. Yes. Here's a great hack. Okay. Rice and pasta are things you don't normally have to boil. Yes. But you can cook them and freeze them as is, even pasta. Oh, so you could buy frozen okay. rice, which okay. I love from yeah. Woolies, but we've got a little supply of frozen rice. And it's actually quite nice when you do pop them into little individual bags, so you don't have to then try and like divide things when the power's out. And this will reheat, literally, you could actually cook your sauce, just add this to it, or pop it in the microwave for 30 seconds before the lights go out, 30 seconds, and that you're is. done. And that saves a lot of time, 30 seconds, versus boiling rice for about 20 minutes yeah. to get it cooked. And also, I like the fact that you efficiently are saving electricity at the same time, and saving money, essentially, because you're cooking everything at once. You've got batches, that helps with meal prep which is always important for anybody like looking after the diet, counting calories. So at the same time, I like this because you kind of like portion it off. So exactly. here's Monday's rice, I got Tuesdays, I got th Thursdays. It's kind of like a cool little That's option. a very baby portion size, <laughs> yeah, yeah, to be no, honest. Like a, but I mean, you'll portion it at home you as get what I'm going with. you need. The other one, and we mentioned this before, but I think it's worth mentioning again, is get yourself a vacuum flask. Mm. So when you put mm. hot water or cold water in a vacuum flask, it'll essentially keep it, it warm or cold for hours. Yeah. Yeah. So Nicole, I'm actually in the pause right here because I don't want another glass. Nicole boiled this about four o'clock this morning. 
And really can you see the steam? Here. Can you see the steam? Ooh, okay. It's still hot. And it is soft, such a lifesaver. If you need a cup of coffee or a cup of tea yeah, and the power's true. out, you sit there, droog. <laughs> but now we've got a solution. Just get, get this off a flask and it honestly keeps water hot for about three hours. Yes. Good enough for tea or coffee. I've got another one. This is just essential, I'm just thinking, because there's certain people that need a coffee, but yeah. need a tea in the morning yeah. before they start the day. So this is probably this something is that's gonna be an one. essential for you, right? So get before a flask. That, I just got, obviously everybody's coming through with some please, great ideas. Please, Ubeda's just sent a, uh -huh. a WhatsApp. I wanna listen to this one first, just before we crack into the rest of your tips. So let's hear what he has to say. Hopefully he's got some tips for us, or she actually, let's find out. Hi guys, yes. If it's during the day, uh, just get in my car and I go to Kenilworth Centre. They always have electricity there. So I can have a, a cuppa or I can have a meal, depending the time of day. Um, at night, yeah, it's a different scenario. I hate the 8 o'clock stretch from 8 till 10 because there's no way I can go to bed. We normally get in our car and we either go to the garage and go and sit, have a cup of coffee there or just chill and listen to the music. All right, Obeda, I love that. Thank you so much. I like that. Yo, causing, yeah. like, hey, load shedding, that, what does that mean? Adventure time. I love yes. that. Yes. That is such a cool association with load shedding. It's like, okay, cool, where are we going to next? We've got another one coming through. I don't know who this one is from exactly. Let's find out who it is and what they have to share with us right now. We just lay in bed and watch on our phones when it's load shedding. Okay, it seems like, I think, I think she said uh, are we on our phone, maybe, no cheating. I think, hopefully not just playing games yeah. and using it constructively. So, checking out some uh, recipes and hacks from us as well online. Let me, let me take that <laughs> yeah. one and like, just shoot forward to another tip. Yeah. So, the most important thing is actually being ahead of the load shedding, so yes. you know, know when the power is going to go out. Especially and to then, avoid that graveyard shift. That uh, to 10, like, uh, absolutely. That's what she was speaking about now, yeah. And then charge your phone. Oh, charge yes. your power bank, charge your laptop, whatever device you know you could be potentially be using, charge it. Charge your Jeez. rechargeable torches. Yes. Because, I mean, you often do forget that these things need to be recharged. I actually did this last night. Did you? Know you? you know what came through crazy enough? Uh, not a, necessarily a kitchen hack, but I found a ring light uh -huh. and a power bank. And you just shot some salt in there. And <laughs> you shot some salt in But it that. gave you light. But, but literally, the ring light gives you a lot of light. It and does. you can change the color on some of them as well. So like, Oh, okay, the mood lighting. Cool. Yeah, we Why are people mood. getting romantic during load shedding? I love that. It's cool. I love it. Look, in. Never mind. Oh, I was, I was okay. also going to say, we were talking about like. Uh, no, 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 let's not. Let okay, so back to another one. Okay, I like doing these little baggies and I keep them in a specific place in the kitchen. It's got a, it's got a lighter, it's got little candles, and it's got, a pl it's got some plasters oh, in there. Pack. And I'm talking about the plasters from experience. Ah, exactly. Or yeah. putting your hand <laughs> in a drawer and nick, nick yourself. Keep you. that in one place so when the lights go out, if you're not prepared, you know exactly where to find it. Obviously, we spoke about gas. Get yeah. the gas. Start cooking on gas. We've got more to come. There's only part one of four. Oh, I Here, can't wait. Send your voice notes through. It's going to be amazing. Send it through. We're going to be the week. light of your life this morning. <laughs> we're going to be the light of your life. And we're going to be serving you everything when it comes to cooking during load shedding. So if you have any culinary conundrums or want to share your load shedding tips, then join us in on the conversation and the discussion by sending your voice notes to our WhatsApp line. That's 63 8863 because we'd love to share your tips and also divulge on all the other hacks in the kitchen. We'll see you in just a bit. <laughs> it's my feel-good breakfast show. Yes, yeah, Zanzi, welcome back. You feel good breakfast show. And of course, this morning on a culinary hotline bling, we are also tackling your conundrums and sharing the best tips and tricks for preparing food during load shedding. So officially, let's do it. Let's do a proper one. Because now the lights are back on. The lights are back it's on. The culinary hotline bling! Ching, ching, ching! Yes, the lights are staying on because we're keeping it on right now. And if you have any questions for Chef Clem, please join us on the discussion and send us your voice notes to the famous WhatsApp line. It's 0634088863. I bet you can't say it faster than me. All right. So, first section, we did something incredible. We were talking about some cool tips, some hacks. We've got some incredible voice notes coming in as well. But what on earth is this? I, I don't want to tell you too much about this right yeah. now. It is our charcoal tabletop rye. Okay. I'll be telling you more about that in a little bit. Okay. But we spoke earlier about Such the fact a tease, that, eh? Hey, oh, okay. Fine. I want to keep people hooked. Okay. <laughs> so, we spoke about cooking on gas. Yes. Cooking on charcoal. Yes. This is amazing because it's, you don't have to light a whole fire to bry. But I'll tell you more about this in a little bit. It, okay. I'm, I'm so impressed with this. So, here's the thing. When the lights are out, you know, just make the most out of the situation. Yes. We're going to do some spicy chicken burgers. 
What? Because it's so Without quick power. Easy. Without power, we're what? gonna do it on our charcoal grill. It's gonna be so delicious. You're gonna be in charge of the slaw. It's All right. gonna be amazing one. So actually, the recipe, it, it doesn't say recipe by Clement Pedro. It says recipe by Megan Pedro because this is what we did in load shedding. Oh, that's right, writing so recipes. Big. I see you. And I wrote nice. the recipe and she's like, oh, add a little bit of that to it. Add a little bit of that to it. And the one thing she said, add to it, was pineapple. And I was like, peri peri chicken, pineapple and slaw. Yeah. You know what it reminds it. you of? Because like I remember Sunrise Beach as a kid, there was a market on a Sunday. Uh -huh. And they would serve pineapple on a stick just with a little bit of like uh, spice over it. And they would like serve that as like a meal, literally. And you walk around in the Sunrise. market. Sunrise what Circle at you? the market on a Sunday morning. You go there, there'd little be like a coil of a pineapple on a stick. They hoist some spice on that and you just walk around chowing that thing. That it sounds was, like a Yeah, that recipe. was like the vibe. If anybody's been down there, you should try it out. It's still going down. But this is something All else. Right. This took that this concept is, and like this is print so, private school. I love so this. delicious. Okay, so yeah. I've got my chicken breast. What I did is I actually have two chicken breasts and I put it between two sheets of plastic paper. Um, um, Cling wrap. Cling there we go. Wrap. What's okay, the word? You. We forget word. <laughs> and then just pounded it out. So actually, two chicken breasts actually gave me four fillets that I can cook. Ooh, and nice. I did it for a reason because when you flatten chicken breasts, it cooks in a fraction of the time. Yes. And obviously, in load shedding, you don't want to be spending forever in the kitchen. You want to get in, get out. Yes. That's what you want to do. Fish so, Ralph, key. you're in charge of the slaw. I've got some for cabbage work. for you. Okay. I've got some pickles. I've got some mayonnaise and I'll look at this. Okay. A slaw basically, Ooh. you can put anything together to make it a slaw. And this is one insanely good slaw because of the pickles in there and because of the jalapeno acha. I've got my chicken breast. Acha. All right, what are you doing on your side? I've got my Willie's Peri Peri Bry Prego marinade. Ooh, no yeah. salt, because all the seasonings in there. It's all about hacks, get in, get out. Time is of the essence as well, especially when I capitalize on the little bit of power that you maybe have, or whether you've got gas or coal, you don't want to waste time. You don't want to waste time. And, and, you, and also, I feel like, when it comes to like during the week when the power goes out, I mean obviously it's not the best thing in the world. So Yo, what do you mean it's not the best thing? It's a lust. It's a oh lust. I was trying to not to be. Darkness. I was trying not to be that miserable about it. <laughs> so I feel Let's like make, make up for it by having some really delicious food, and this is how you do it. Okay, so I've marinated the chicken breast in there. You can also do this way ahead of time, which I would absolutely do. Yeah. Get it on there. You want that sizzle? Do you even get that sizzle during the week? You don't, man. No, you don't. but now you, you, you just you. took me to the weekend just like that in one sizz. <laughs> you, this is what you do. Okay, so get your, get your chicken on. And again, we're using breast because it doesn't take that long to actually cook through. As soon as you get the chicken on there, I've got some pineapple rings. We're bringing back all the retro things from like yesteryear. Is it cut already? It's done for you. Ra Ra Ral, put a ring on it. Put a ring on it. Put a ring on it. It would be an absolute. Oh, no. it's, Look how cool that is. It is. Straight, just like that. Damn. Get it on your grill. Get it nice, nice and hot. What happens is those sugars in the pineapple start caramelizing, get so much flavor. People say pineapple and pizza is not a thing. People be hating on pineapple, but I'm mean like, no, no I'm, I'm going to defend the pineapple. Yeah. The pineapple makes this burger. So I'm going to jump on that pan wagon as well and say, especially when you put some good spices together with it. So oh, it's going to come together. Before we finish this, though, we've got so many voice notes that have come through. Send really it, send it, send it. Mzanzi's coming through with all the tips. We were asking you, what do you do to keep the power on? And that means you're cooking and anything else when the power is actually off. So how do you keep going during that time? And we've got so many coming through right now. Let's hear this first one on the line. Who is it? Let's hear what this voice note is about. It looks like, I think it's Nosetu. Let's Send it. Send it. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Um, what I do, I light up my phone and I look for my lentil. It's a paraffin one and my lights goes on and the life goes on too. This is Uno Sintum Tzimeli from Engamakwe. Nice, I like that. Okay, so kind of like creating an ambiance, getting the lantern out. It's almost like a camping vibe. I like that. Marvin Gaye. Yeah, you know is what it, I mean? Are we going that direction? <laughs> Why not? Why not? We've got another one coming through now. I think this one is from Mark. Let's hear what Mark has to say. Hi. I always charge my phone before the lights went out. And then I listen to music and check with family on French for two hours. I like that. 
what he marks the time oh, wisely and constructively. Mark with his somber and soulful voice that's so elegantly soft at the same time. But Mark is just basically saying he's making sure that he's preparing beforehand. So he's got his devices charged, just like you said in the kitchen as well. It helps to prepare things like we did with the rice. And he's obviously using that time to just listen to some music, catch up with the family, do all the good things. I like that very much. Another one coming through. There's so many. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This one from Bronwyn. Let's see if it's a tip or if she's asking for help. Let's find out. Good morning. My name is Bronwyn. When the lights go off, I usually make my food on the gas stove. And for light, I I use a candle. Nice. Romantic yeah. dinner, cooking on gas. That's what it's about. It's like finding the silver lining in these moments. And I think South Africans are really, really good at that. Yeah. What's happening with the chicken here, man? Let's swap with this device because it looks like it's getting the sizzle on. This thing's working want, incredibly. You want those tiger or zebra stripes happening right now, okay? You can see the pineapple's looking beautiful. Yeah. Chicken's looking good. Can I, can I tell the people what you said during the ad break? What? About what's going to happen in nine months time. <laughs> Ra the... Raul's <laughs> predicting a lot of load shedding babies. And I'm like, why not? Just yeah, like, but if you think about it, I mean, obviously, it's the silver lining of lockdown for many relationships. What is I'm, I'm a bit scared about where he's going to go. It Wait, look like it. It together. So I'm saying the same thing with load shedding. We're hearing all these incredibly romantic ideas. Yes. Grace to, like, spice things up in the kitchen and beyond the, that space. I mean, obviously, how can you deny the essence and the ambiance when you're creating a good meal like this? That's what I love yeah, about South yeah, Africans. Yeah, yeah, man. We just, we just... Take a situation that we're not really happy with and we're going to just make it a vibe. We multiply the situation. <laughs> <laughs> but it is, and I love that about us in Africa. So definitely going to be the nine-month uh, trend on this show. It's going to be uh, load-shedding babies. What do you reckon? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> okay, so look at these babies. Okay, Woo! so the thing is, yes. you don't, you don't want to serve medium-rare chicken. If you think you're fancy, would you like your chicken medium-rare? No. Cook your chicken through. <laughs> okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to hit it chicken, wow. cheddar cheese, pineapple, and slaw. Obviously, I want to cook this through before nice. I put it on the burger. It takes not even 15 minutes to make this, young Raoul, and it is so, so delicious. Oh, the best goodness. part of this is, it is so juicy. That pineapple smacks you in the face because it's tangy, it's sweet. It just creates the whole essence of the burger. That's what you end up with. I can't resist. Can I please? Oh, good. Okay, 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 okay. okay. <laughs> okay. I Remember, cannot wait gotta, for this. You gotta do the stand, eh? made with no electricity you, whatsoever. No, you gotta, gotta do, do the stand. stand. Legs apart, right. away from the table. Yeah, you ready? Bend over, go. Three, two, one. Now, my mouth is full and I'm sorry for this, but man, you gotta get your expression to come right now. Oh, the flavors are just bursting everywhere. Clem, the pineapple, the spice, the chicken. It's done so right. No electricity whatsoever. Expresso should have come for this culinary conundrum hack. And again, sorry for my mouth being full, but I couldn't resist. It's so, 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 so good. Zanzi, go check it out. Expresso should have come. We've got more conundrum hacks coming at you in just a bit. Mm, this is so good. Nice, man. Yes. <laughs> it's my feel good birthday show. Oh, yes. You can see the smile on our face because you know what time it is. This morning we are tackling some load shedding cooking hacks with you and, of course, Chef Clem. And this is our final edition of the Cutlery Hotline Blink! Ding, ding, ding! Yes, so the lights didn't go out this time, but we are going to make sure that no matter what is happening with your light situation, we've got you covered. So, you got any questions for Chef Clem or anything culinary conundrum related, then join us on the discussion and send us your voice notes. And we've got the WhatsApp line. It's 063-408-8863. That's 8863. And with all the voice notes and everything, coming through right now, I thought, let us find one of our special people right now. We've got a call on the line. I want to say good morning to the beautiful Ketami in the building. Yes, Ketami. <laughs> Hello, guys. Hi. How are you? I'm good. And yourself? Oh, we are so good. But we feel left out because you just slayed it away when it comes to the wardrobe this morning. How did you find a jacket to match your personality? Well done. Well played. Oh, thank you. My mom made this for me. Your mom made it? Okay. What? She's a, Whoa. She's a fashion designer. Yeah. Oh, wow. Mom's got some skills. I mean, ask mom if she wants to do a collab, maybe. I'm, I'm here for that jacket. <laughs> <laughs> But look, we're talking about another type of collab. We're talking about collaborating with you, obviously, and obviously solving some questions, conundrums, and anything that you have for us. What's happening? What's on your mind this morning when it comes to the kitchen? We've got Chef Clem on standby as well. What can we do for you? Um, now, as I'm speaking, there's no electricity. 
everywhere and vendor. So my question is, how do I make lot shading food since, well, you see blackout? Since this is the new norm. All right. Well, we got you, Kay. We got you. Chef Clem's got all the answers. So how do we answer this question, brother? So say you haven't prepped. Yeah. You don't have a gas yeah. braai. You don't have a charcoal braai, but you're hungry. Yes. What are you going to do? Yes. I got you. I can tell me it is right now. She's in right the now. now. Let's feed the okay. people. What are we going to so, do? You gotta get your protein in there somewhere, but yes. proteins you mostly have to cook, right? Yeah. Except smoked chicken breasts. They've already been cooked. You smart man, it's been you. Cooked. I see what you did there. So, okay, I got you, I got you. I've created like, again, it's all about the here. So that's the yeah. thing about load shedding, make the most out of it. So we got the smoked chicken that's done. Okay. Okay. Got me some taco shells. All right. We don't have to cook them, it's They're already hot. done. Nice. Lime, coriander, sorry, sorry, G, you know, G and his coriander. Got some jalapenos, got some chives, got some dip, got some feta, got some lettuce. All fresh. We're making tacos. Yes. You don't have to cook. Taco, you don't have to taco, cook. Tacos. Taco, taco. <laughs> we don't have to cook anything. Anything. That's but I think pretty cool. It is a vibe because you get everybody around the table and you get to talk about your day with a few candles lit up there. Everybody builds their own. So, you're going like to build this. one okay. for yourself. I'm going to build one for you. Okay, tell me, this is actually a great idea for you to, I mean, you're in load shedding now, so why don't you bring your friends down into the kitchen and you can recreate this experience, because now everyone has something to do during load shedding. Everyone right. can grab ingredients, everyone can get involved, and uh, I'm gonna do just that. So what am I busy with right now? I mean, I've got you, I've got some chicken for you as well. Oh, so, nice. I mean, oh, nice. We do I mean, I don't mind slicing. No. Oh, okay, so we can do our own vibe. I like that. These are so dope. Also, also, I've got, I have some friends from back in the day that used to just like have, these whole things in their lunch boxes. This is really to Just go. chowing chicken. Yeah, man, when the varsity days came through and yes. I had protein, I was that guy. I had this on a bit of rice, ready to go. And a can of tuna back pocket. <laughs> Just for emergencies. Just for emergencies. <laughs> okay, so the trick for this one is get it nice and thin. That way you make one chicken breast go the distance. Ah, okay. And you end up feeding a lot of people just one so chicken okay, breast. So can invite more of a friend. More, as more. As okay, okay go you. for it. Nice, nice and thin. thin. So like I said, you don't have to cook the tacos, you don't have to do anything, it's just a little bit of chopping and you're good to go. I also like the fact that you don't make everybody's taco, let them make it themselves. Yes. That's, that's part of the experience. When it comes to tacos, I feel like putting it together is half of the fun. I got you. How are you doing? Uh, uh, can you tell me, are you still on the line, by the way? Ah, I wanted to ask you, what have you been doing before you obviously found this beautiful conundrum hack? What have you been doing during the load shedding when you get hungry? Have you had any solutions or is it just like peanut butter and bread? <laughs> okay, I got you. Okay, I got you. And then I would imagine with this being an option now, is it something you can see yourself getting into? Can you see yourself maybe inviting some friends or family around? Yeah, it's definitely something that I'm looking forward to do. It's easy and just straightforward. Like, you bring people over, you make tacos, just come make your own if you want. But if you can, then Chef Kim told me how to make one. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I like that. I love that. Oh. <laughs> so, I was going to make G a taco, but he said I'm no longer his favorite. Huh? So it's now a... I'm like, I'm not sure. So, I mean, I can make the taco for him. Like, he's he's, he's kind of like sussing out what's happening in the background. <laughs> he doesn't know what's happening. <laughs> but yes, okay, I'll, 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 G can come in just on make his own taco. I know that G doesn't like coriander, but I'm sure he'll make it his own. Yeah, that's true. So you use the use of this, right? Because uh, you can add your own favorites to this as absolutely. well. Absolutely. You can get creative. If you're not a fan absolutely. of a chili, you're not a fan of absolutely. lime or anything else, then you, I have no footsteps. I have footsteps. I have footsteps. Could that be Could that Young be G himself? The G. <laughs> okay. He's got he's got G actually has very tiny feet, people. And when he comes it's just joking. I am I'm just that's so small, I'm struggling. Come, get, in, get, in here, get in here, get in here, get in here, get in here. Get in here. Oh, can make a taco. G first you say good morning to Katamiya as well, because Katami. she's on the line joining us. Oh, she's over there on the board. I know it's difficult to tell us apart when we dress the same like this, but I'm, I'm on the right. This is Graham over here. <laughs> okay, so okay. G's making... Okay, I'm making mine for you, this one for you, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to eat it, but you can just, we're eating this in spirit. Okay, G's making his. G's going to omit the coriander. I've got the chicken in there. I always good chicken first, just because you want to make sure you get the chicken in there. Oh, nice. Okay, like a little okay. bit of cost lettuce. Okay, but you literally make this your own. Why? A little bit of coriander. Because. because. <laughs> G. Okay, a little bit of coriander goes in. You can no. hit it with a little bit. This is the like a sweet and sour dip. Like don't don't mess. Just get the dip. Ooh, the dip okay. is like get so it's, it's ready one. to go. Yeah. They've combined the flavors already. They've Absolutely. done it for you. It's all in there. Nice. Ready? Hit it with a little bit of that. The dip. 
If you like it spicy, I've got some chipotle sauce. And the thing is, this is not a, it's not a hot dish, but you bring the heat with the spice. That's how yes. it works. Mm. So well, here, I've got talk some. Talk about it. Do, do it, man. Do it, do it. I, got I, some... I want to find out, because Chef Clem, I know we, there's this divide between how hot we like our foods. I know certain people love it extra spicy, uh -huh. especially those dwelling in the KZN region, as far as I'm aware. <laughs> tell me, maybe I can ask you this question. You like your foods extra spicy with a lot of heat? I was going to ask you, do you like your food extra spicy with a lot, a lot of spice on it and a lot of flavor? Or do you prefer to let the flavor come through from... I like my spicy. I like ah. my spicy. Okay, then you're going to love Chef Clem's take on this. He loves all the spice you can get. All right, okay. The last thing you do, and I see you've got some feta as, as, as well there. Hit it with a little bit of lime, and as soon as you're done, you all stand in a row and you, you, you chomp into it at the same time. But okay. one of us has to make sure we don't take a big, big enough bite. But this is going to be a lot of crunch, eh? Because it's going to be so crunchy. So the building's going to shake, literally. <laughs> Are you ready for this? Okay, so just like the burger, there's a trick for the taco, okay? <laughs> The rule is you never tilt the taco, you bend your way to accommodate the taco. Don't. So you, you go bend your head, oh. okay? okay? And then you get in there. All right. All right. Mm. 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 Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is how you do mm -hmm. a meal. No electricity, no heat, all the gears. Mm. 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 Now, none of them mm -hmm. can speak. Mm -hmm. But this was Culinary Hotline, absolutely amazing. If you have any questions, any conundrums, let us know on Facebook or let us know on our WhatsApp number. We're back next week answering all your questions. They can't talk, they can't say anything, but we're not done. We'll be back. Kitami okay, as well, thank you so much for joining we love us you, this girl. morning. Love you, Jack, and we love yeah. you, and go entertain the world. <laughs> the spice of life. Mm. Oh, okay, man. The head talk. Hey, these were good, eh? These are really, really good, eh? Just one more bite for the people. Mm. Okay, talk Three, the head, eh? Two, one, let's get involved. <laughs> mm.